Department of Human Resources, the unemployment rate is approaching 10%, with more layoffs expected Fred, at the major auto plants. Wake up. Officials at the two companies most affected said inventories were up and retail sales were down. They also cited increased costs for basic raw materials as a factor. When asked, they denied that competition from Japanese automakers was a major factor. Continuous thunderstorms dumped almost 10 into the rain on southeastern Texas and western Louisiana yesterday, forcing evacuation of thousands of people. The National Guard was called in to help evacuate. Everybody up! Hey, Mom, you Sweetheart. The radio said there's going to be layoffs. Yeah, I heard. The dryer busted again. My socks are wet. It wouldn't surprise me. Frank, about dinner tonight, I left a note on the board. Would you put the casserole in the microwave at medium for three minutes at six? Oh, you have to work late again? Honey, if I don't do the night jobs, then Cindy will never get her braces. Right. If Cindy doesn't get her braces, then... Kevin will never call her for a date. Right. If Kevin doesn't call her, you know right. we'll never hear the end of it. Right. Well, I can't fix food for him tonight. Because I'm working overtime myself. I hate to have the kids eat alone again. Well, Ma can cook for him. This will be the third time this month she'll have to miss the Friday night races. Oh. Oh. Ma, are you smoking again? Must be the toast. <laughs> Ma, would you please help me get the kids going? Oh, oh, the kids, the kids. I know, I know, Ma, queen for a day. The kids! Oh, oh, the kids. Frank, let's go. Yeah. You know, Julie, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. That engine is the, the engine, engine of the future. The future. That engine is going to make us very rich someday. Well, this engine's going to make us very late today. Frank, you've got to fix it. Uh, I'll fix it next week. But you said that last week. Clutch, honey. <laughs> get out from under. Sure. Henry Ford did. He didn't work on the assembly line, Frank. He invented it. Well, it's the same thing. Don't worry. AJ and I are going to get our own garage, and we're going to do just fine. I could handle that. Cold, like always. Love it cold, like always. AJ, turn in here. I'm heading the wrong way. I know, just hang a Yui. One Yui coming up. Well, this is it, AJ. 
No different than all the rest. Oh, are you kidding? This is perfect. Come here, take a look at this. Oh, Frank, we're gonna be late again. No, we're not. Just picture this, okay? Maris and Foley. We don't just fix cars. We make them better. Well, I like it. I do, too. Give me a pencil. A pencil? What for? Well, I want to get the phone number. Oh, you want the phone number? Here's the phone number. Now, let's get going. Sorry, but I don't have a pencil. Well, we got the phone number. We're late again, man. Let's go, Tom. Late again, huh, Maris? Well, take a hike, Wilson. Attitude, boys. Attitude. You guys aren't careful. I'm going to put you back in shipping. Oh, yeah? Wilson, the last time he took us off the line, it cost the company 100 rejects. That's right. Wasn't it the big boss himself who insisted you put us back on crankshaft? Oh, push me, loudmouth. This is my shift. I want things done my way. No strain, no pain. No job. How about no job? Come on, AJ. Our own garage. No more time clocks. No more assembly line. And no, no more, more Wilson. Wilson. Breakfast! What is it this time? Oatmeal. It's oatmeal! Grandma, I entered three contests this morning. That's my girl. I entered five, and you know what? I'm going to win five, too. I am on a roll. Grandma, you haven't won anything since way back in 1957. Well, it's a slow roll. Grandma, can I have a pop toasty instead of oatmeal? No, sweetheart. They're no good for you. Okay, I'll have coffee and a cigarette. <laughs> Don't get smart. Morning, Grandma. Hi, David. David, do you have a calculator? But help me out, okay? How many calories in oatmeal? It says here one cup is 133. Why? Make it a cup and a half. Oh, okay. One ninety-nine and a half, two cups milk, three eighteen, six tablespoons of brown sugar, totaling eight hundred and twenty-nine and a half calories in one tiny bowl of oatmeal. Boy, am I full. What have you kids got against oatmeal? I ate it. Your mother ate it. Well, that's it. It's old-fashioned. Well, I'm old-fashioned. Don't you like me? Oh, Grandma, you're not old-fashioned. You're just old. Sit down. Ma, you're smoking again. Uh, Trish, oh. you got the wrong shoes on. Aren't your kids ready for school? We have to wait for oatmeal. We don't have time. Just toast some hot toasties. Oh, no, we can't. The toaster's broken. We'll take them raw. All right. Come on. Uh, Let's go. Enjoy your oatmeal, Grandma. What? Oh... Slow down, Mom! Slow down! No, faster, Mom! Faster! Slow down faster! Mom, I can't be late. Kevin paces my homeroom at exactly 8.06. Give me a break. Mom, if you don't slow down, you're gonna catch a red light. Okay, kids, positions! Wait a minute, Mom. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't have a minute. Get out, nerd. No! Ready? Wait! Which one I count to five? One, two, three, four, five! on the odometer? Zero, zero. Oh, it turned a hundred thousand and we missed it. Oh, we've seen it before. Got it. Now drive it 15 miles per hour. Forget that. Drive it 50. 50, that'll stop us at the next two lights. Now 30 would do it. The speed limit's 25. We don't have time for a ticket. 
Hang a reel, Mom. I don't believe it, David. You forgot about the crossing guard. Okay, okay, I'll work it out. Not here. Kevin goes from down there. Genius. I haven't factored in the crossing guards yet. I have it all worked out by the night. Run for it! Oh, thanks. Again, Mr. Johnson. $25,000. I can drive slow to take home twenty-five grand, but my car has far too much pride. <laughs> What's so funny? You guys jobs are hanging by a thread. You got no appreciation for style, Wilson. I hate style. be Lucille's little girl. And you must be Lucille's little man. I mean, jockey. <laughs> you got it. How you doing, baby? <laughs> We've heard a lot about you. We're off to the morning workouts, the afternoon races, and the night sulkies. <laughs> it's been a real exact. Come on, Joe. Yeah. See you after dinner. <laughs> Have a good time and good luck. Those pressure plate assemblies up. Yeah. 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 You boys gonna get in on the raffle? Oh, what's Wilson got you hustling now, Lenny? That little beauty right over there? You're not gonna regret it. Hey, bucket ticket, boys! Hey, Foley, fork it over. Uh, I already got me a real car. Maybe this will be okay for Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Cough it up, Maris. Uh, no, thank you. Nobody ever wins anything in my family except my mother-in-law, and that was 30 years ago. You can count me out. You like your overtime? You can count me in. All I got's five bucks. And you get five tickets. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. Hey, Julie. You drive. I gotta dry my hair. Why don't you let me cut it for you? You'd look terrific with short hair. AJ would kill me. I think the fellas were late this morning. <laughs> Why should we be any different? Hey, but we are going to take the time to stop and get lottery tickets, right? You know it. Okay. Give me a W. Give me an I. Give me a great big N. What do we do? Win. And what are you going to do with your half of the million dollars, Mrs. Maris? Oh, pay the bills, 
Cindy's braces by the garage, fix the dryer. Personally, I'd like to get to know my local furrier real well. And of course, you just can't wear furs without diamonds. Jesse, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, a baby. Now that's really expensive. Morning, Sid. Morning. Must be Thursday. Yep. Lottery time. <laughs> What's it for this week? Baby. <laughs> and our own business. Good luck, ladies. Let's check last week's board. Oh, my gosh. Jesse, come here. Look. 858368. Eight, check me. See if I'm right. Okay, there's an eight, and there's a five, and there's another eight, and a three, and a six, and an eight! Wait, what? Oh, my God! Dad! Dad! What? Look what? at this! Come here, look! That's it, all right. Girls, you finally hit it! 858368, eight, eight, plate is a nose in your face! Purchased by Julie Maris, 21, Eastern Rome! And Jesse Foley, 49 Van Alden Ave, right? Yeah, right! No wrong! There's no Foley on this ticket. Jesse, you didn't want to play last week. I always want to play. No, I remember now. You said there were too many eights. Eights were unlucky for you. You've known me long enough to know I never mean what I say. Well, just put her name on the ticket. Sorry, Julie, I can't do that. This ticket is the sole property of Julie Maris. Says so right here. But I wouldn't get too excited. You're not a winner yet. This only gives you a shot at the million dollars. You have to go on television and be one of six finalists. Me? Go on television? Oh, wow, that's fantastic. But it's nothing, uh, because I haven't won anything yet. Right, Jesse? Jesse? If you'll excuse me, I still have to make a living. Oh, Jesse. Where is she? I need those highlights by one. This is a major luncheon. I'm sure Julie will be here any minute. I have another date. Do you want me to give it up? Don't be ridiculous. I just thought we were friends. How can you say that? We're best friends. A person who doesn't share a lottery ticket when she's got a chance to win is no way a friend of mine. Jesse, I'll, I'll give you half the money. You'll give me? I don't want half your money. I want my half of our money. What's been keeping you two? I had to tease Mrs. D'Amato myself. And Mrs. Doyle wants a dye job. She didn't when she came in, but her hair turned gray waiting for you. Sorry, Mr. Vincent. I think my ship came in. And what's your excuse? Mine sank. Julie, don't forget, tonight you have Mrs. Parnowski's roots. Hello? Ouch, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's the matter, Heidi? Uh... I get to thinking about what happened this morning and I started to get really mad. You mean Wilson at the time clock? No, I'm talking about the blackmail. They made me buy five tickets with five dollars that I can't afford. I only bought one. Yeah, well, they didn't threaten to cut off your overtime. They threatened you? You bet they did. Listen, they threatened you, they threatened me. Well, don't worry about it. I'm just not going to let myself think about it. Yeah, but the trouble is you got me thinking about it now and I'm getting steamed. I'm getting sick and tired about being pushed around by those two clowns. Where are you going? I'm going to punch out some lights. No one blackmails my buddy. Go oh, get it! Oh, out! Out! All right. I have had it. Oh, me too. I'm going to clean some clocks. Hey, me too. There they are. Nice. Uh, 
And all of you listen to this. Maris, I want to congratulate you in front of everybody for buying five tickets on that drawing. That was a fine thing you did. Fine example for all the workers. Thank you, Mr. Arnold. You have a generous heart, Maris. Keep up the good work. See you. Boy, we showed them, huh? Do you have any children to cook dinner? I did it last night. Uh-uh, that was Wednesday night, remember? Yeah, I did it Wednesday, too. Yes, I'll cook. I always do it anyway. There. I cook dinner, now you have to set the table. I have room to do. Who's the happiest? Yeah. Cindy. I heard that nerd knows. It's Dad, Trish. Right. What's his name again? Frank. Oh, yeah. Hey, move this stuff off the table. Why? I need to make a right turn at Pulaski Avenue. No way. What are you doing? Solving the timing of the traffic pattern on the way to school. Why? So we never have to push that stupid car. If we never stop, we'll never stall. Why do you keep saying Kevin likes me? I mean, I bumped into him between third and fourth period today. He didn't even say a word to me. That does not prove he likes me. No one else talks to me either. Yeah, he is so cute. Ack, young love. If I check no, we don't want any magazines, do we still have the chance of a lifetime? Look, Trish, when you get older, You'll learn that the two biggest lies in the world are I'll be in bed by 9 o'clock and no purchase necessary. And Briar Patch moving very handily uh, next to a uh, golf ball. Uh, and here comes the favorite needles moving up on the, the outside. Um, and here comes Fleetfoot. Ah! Fleetfoot making his move. And as the pack goes into the far turn, they are holding, and Fleetfoot is challenging. Boy, ain't this better than a box at the turf club? I used to ride for this owner. Come on, Fleetfoot. Come on, Fleetfoot. It's Fleetfoot moving up, and uh, Briarpatch staying close. The needles falling behind by a half a length. Oh, Joe, I'm going to win this time. I'm going to win. Let and go. it's Fleetfoot taking the lead by a half a length. Um, oh, Joe, my losing streak is over. This is it. I can feel it. Come on, Fleetfoot. They're Come moving on, into the stretch, uh, and it's Fleetfoot all the way with the Briarpatch staying close and nodding off his third. Uh, and they're coming down the wire. Here comes Briarpatch. Oh! Nodding off, winning by a nose. I lost by a nose. I warned you about Fleetfoot. Oh, well, what makes you so smart? I rode his mother. <laughs> Steady, big fella. Mm -hmm. Joe. Mm hmm. I hope you don't think I'm easy because of that kiss. Oh, no way! It's just that the races sort of get my blood going, you know? I respect you, Lucille. And I really did come up here for the view. So did I. But that little old kiss didn't hurt anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have a lot in common, don't you? Oh, I sure do. Knowing you helps keep my hand in. With the races, you mean. Ah, with the fellas. <laughs> Holy Toledo, look at the time, Joe. We've got to get home. Julia will be waiting up for me. Yes, ma'am. Don't spare the horses. I never did. was in her hand. I mean, she couldn't even remember her own name. Yeah, they took him to the hospital, but he was DOA. D 
D-O-A, degree of angle. Remember we had it in math last week? Bye. Hi, Mom. Did you kids do your homework? Uh, we had to watch the, um, news for current events. Oh? Tell me, what were the current events? War and pestilence. The war wasn't in a beauty shop by any chance, was it? <laughs> Never mind. Let's go to bed. Oh. Frank, say you had a friend, and that friend could have entered a contest with you, but didn't. Uh huh. And then you won that contest. Uh -huh. Frank. Frank? <sighs> Frank, did you hear anything I said? Oh, yeah, sweetheart. How much did you win? Well, I'm surprised at you. That's not the point. I know. That's not the point. No. The point is... She hates eights. She hates eights. So she couldn't have won, could she? Mm -mm. Nope, she couldn't. So I won it all by myself. That's nice, honey. She could have played. But she didn't. She hates eights. I know. I feel terrible. a million dollars. I know. It's not just because we might be rich and my mom's gonna be on TV tonight. Kevin really likes me. He told me so. Well, not exactly. He punched me on the stairs. Who's gonna feed a pony? I'll feed the pony. Well, where are you gonna put it? In the garage. My scooter's going there. You're not old enough to drive. I can drive it in the backyard. No way, the backyard's for the gazebo. What do you feed a gazebo? We're home! Feed me! Hurry up, kids, the show's on in two minutes. Isn't this awesome? Just like and fucking dirty. All the money! Boo, kiddo. You know it's uh, odds are five to one, she won't win. Bite your tongue, Joe. Lady Luck smiles on this family. Remember, I was once... Do, 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 do. Queen for a day. Oh. <laughs> hey, where's the caramel corn? Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. We forgot, David. These will have to do. Come on in. Sandy, your fortune hunter's here. Don't slouch. She really hates that. Oh, thanks. Kevin, how nice of you to come. Let me introduce you to my siblings. This is David Lee and my sister Patricia. And my grandmother, Grandma, and her boyfriend. He's not a boy, he's just short. He's a jockey. Five will get you ten. <laughs> All right. Want a ship? Oh, yes. Everybody, 30 seconds and counting. Oh. I mean, it's... Drive carefully now. ...with Frank like I am with Julie. AJ, you don't want to watch that show. Yes, I do want to watch that show. I'm happy for Frank. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. But what about you? You're a nice guy. What I meant was, if it couldn't happen to me, I'm glad it happened to Frank. But it could have happened to you if it weren't for my dumb thing about eights. you got to keep bringing that up, don't you? What in the world is wrong with eights? Everyone else loves them. It's sevens you got to watch out for. 
Look. Hey, folks. You want me to turn that lottery on? Yes. No. no. Yeah, go ahead. I want to see just how mad I am. And I want to see how she fixed her hair. Go back. Hammer two. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, our finalists, and let's meet them right now. First, we have Norm Bellows, a biology teacher, and Kathy Wallace, a nurse. Next, Peggy Dalton, food tester, and Corporal Bob Sanders, sanitary engineer. Julie Maris, a beautician, and James Johnson, unemployed. Our finalists, which one of them is going to take home this one million dollars? Oh, 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 let's find out right now. And here to help us pick our winner is that superstar of soaps, the villainous you love to hate. Let's hear it for Erica Shepherd. <laughs> It is a thrill to be here. I'm just so excited. <laughs> well, I think that goes for all of us, Eric. Hey, okay, you're right, well, I'm wrong. Ready, would you step over to our wheel of wealth? Sure, Don. <laughs> okay, let's find out who our millionaire is going to be. Erica, spin the wheel! Good luck. Are you nuts? And our winner is the beautician, Julie Maris! Wonderful! Oh, wonderful! Wonderful! Our winner! We won! I'm her husband. <laughs> Well, they won. Hooray. Listen, call me next week. I think I can fix that muffler of yours. Probably just a bracket. First limo. We're so rich. I know. Let's go chill the champagne. Oh, Frank, look. I guess the excitement was too much for him. Yeah. Yes, this is the Maris residence. Forget the pony, I want a real horse. <laughs> well, I'm sure it is the meat of the future. You're chicken. Right <laughs> well, we're just not interested right now in investing in an armadillo ranch, okay? Daddy! Oh, 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 wait a minute, cool, cool it, kids, calm down now. We are not going to spend this money foolishly. We're going to do it right. Now, Julie, you need a car. And we all agree that the dryer needs fixing. Then, maybe we'll put a few dollars into the stock market. Maybe a few bonds. Some land. With a racetrack on it. Maybe a couple oil wells. Some mining. Shipping. Earth to Frank! Earth to Frank! 
Maybe a baseball franchise. Frank, before we go crazy, there are a lot of things that we really need that can't wait, like Cindy's braces. Oh, that's okay. I don't need him anymore. Kevin already likes me. Kids, that's enough. Up to bed with you. It's a school night. Oh, do you have to? Yes, you have to. Come on. They have a party. Ma. Oh, Frank, let me get this one. Hey, it's your house. Hello. No, this is her mother. She's putting my grandchildren to bed. Yes, it is wonderful, isn't it? May I take a message? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The nerve. Who is that? You don't want to know. Ma, to bed. Well, normally millionaires don't have to do anything they don't want to do, Julie. Ma. But I'm tired from all the excitement. Good night, kids. Good night, Ma. Good night. Well, honey, this is going to be one heck of a responsibility, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, what are we going to do with all this? What about the garage and you and AJ? Well, once I invest all this money, we're not going to have to work anymore. Oh. Uh -huh. You know what I could do? Maybe I could buy the garage for AJ. If he and Jesse are still speaking to us. Right. Oh, boy. Yeah, the main thing is, we are not going to let this change our lives. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Merritt. No, 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 no. No phones. We're rich. To our lives. To The last time we're going to have to do this. Hallelujah! How do you keep your hands on the wheel? Maybe he's late. No, not AJ. He's never late. Honey, I think you better take me. Okay. Hey, here he comes. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Free ride, huh? Mr. Maris, let me punch in for you. I mean, now that you're a celebrity. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it, Mr. Wilson? Yeah. Oh, well, say, look. This is the second time this week you've been late. You're all late. Now move it. Take names, take names. What's that little guy's name? Uh, that's Cletus Snugs. No, wait a minute. That's his brother, Alan. Now, uh, that guy in the blue shirt, now that's Claude Porter. Oh, his like, brother used to work. Will you two get moving? Mm. AJ, there you are. Where were you this morning? Well, I never thought you'd come in today. Hey, you're not mad, are you? What about? It was your ticket. Hey, thanks. That's uh, great. Listen, there's something I want to do for you. What do you mean, do for me? The garage. I want to buy it for you. Oh, come on. It'd be great. You'd be free of this factory. You'd have your own place. But what would you be doing? In the morning, I guess golf, and then maybe a sauna and a rub, and then I'd look after my investments. But you know what? Come afternoon, I would be free to come by the grease rack, and you and I could talk like always. Your grease rack and your garage. Foley's pull their own weight. Always have, always will. AJ! Crying out loud, I was just trying to help. What do you mean there's a luxury tax on all my bets from now on, Marty? Forget it. My bookie's gone bananas. Looks like the White House lawn out there. <laughs> Hello? 
No, Marty, I won't marry you either. Come on, can't you be late? Look outside, it's like a party! Oh, 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 Please, later, we've got to get these kids to school. Although we could use some help pushing the car. Okay, kids, positions. This is a great shot. Hit it, gang. Okay, get back here. Big smile. Howdy, girl. Hey, no, big smile. Sure, babe, whatever you say. Stand back, stand back. Thank you. Lined up outside since eight this morning. So grab a blow dryer and go. <laughs> Jesse, we've got to talk. I'm extremely busy. Oh, please don't be mad at me. Who's next? Girl, wait, Julie. I was getting so Julie. I will be a child just like you. Julie, how do you think I look at you? I was. 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 I can't handle this all by myself, Jesse. I'm on a break. It'll cost you a dollar. What? You never cost me before. You never had a dollar before. Hey, I could use another half hour at the computer. Can I have yours? Sure. Thanks. It'll cost you 20 bucks. You're crazy. And you're rich. Thank you very much. Hey, Maris. Yeah. How about coming over to the elbow room and having a drink? Token of our esteem. Oh, I don't know, Lenny. I'm kind of tired. I think I ought to get home. Sure, he's no good to have a drink with his old buddies now. My buddies? Oh, we just thought this called for a celebration. Well, okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh... Hey, boys! Drinks for everybody on Frank! Did I ever tell you about the dollhouse I designed for our dachshund? Well, after that, I was approached to do a little Eiffel Tower for a French poodle, and then a pagoda for a Pekingese. I just know my future's in the doghouse. All I need is the tediest investment. Just $10,000? Ladies, here, park here. Get out here. Come on, move along, move along. Oh, no, no, it's all right. See, I live here. Oh, okay, in that case, can I get your autograph? I just think that I'm sorry. Right. Here comes Dad. Uh oh, the restroom. He pulls away, shakes one off, cuts to the right, dashing for the door, and makes it. Daddy, Daddy! Hi, sweetheart. David, someday you're going to make some hotel a great doorman. Oh, hi, Ma. Whoa, what did you have for lunch, sweetheart? Bricks? <laughs> Kevin says hi, Daddy. Why would he call me Daddy? 
Did you know we want a motor home? What? Do you believe it? Sure, son of it. And I didn't even take the magazine. I told you we were on a road. <laughs> I guess we are. I don't believe it. Well, hi, honey. honey. Mm. I've kept dinner warm. Oh, good. You know, it's absolutely crazy out there. Oh, you should have seen it before. These are only the stragglers. Oh, let's eat in the kitchen. At least they can't see us through the shutters. Give that phone a rest, okay? You know, this being rich is a lot more complicated than I thought. Maybe we ought to just take off in the new motorhome. Jesse's really mad. Yeah, AJ wasn't until I offered to buy him the garage. I wish there was some way we could share the money with them. Oh, me too. I, mean, I feel lousy. My cousin Marvin called today. I didn't know you had a cousin Marvin. Second cousin, once removed on my mother's side. He's also an accountant. He wants to manage our money. You don't have any lawyer cousins, do you? I'm sorry. A reporter claimed he tripped over David's bike and said he's going to sue. Oh, boy. Honey, you got the phone. Don't touch that. I didn't. I'm having the number change. I can't take these phone calls anymore. Everything is so different now. Frank, we're still the same people we always were, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I just don't know about the rest of the world. Well, maybe it would have been different if we actually earned the money. Either way, it is our money. Yeah. And we're not enjoying it. First thing tomorrow morning, we're going to start. We've got money. So let's spend it! Hi, fellas. Hi. You look great. Mom, were you warm enough back there? Just heaven. Okay, your harness. Thank you, Jeeves. Here, David, make yourself useful. Honey, we have bulbs? I bought them. $80. Come on, Danny. Come on. Oh, boy, urban renewal. David, you're going to love this. You must be a riff for him. Okay. Hit it! We want it. Bring it in. Oh, uh, Frank. Give him something. Uh, uh, here. That one. <laughs> we got this hot band called Mental Illness. And we almost got a gig, but our synthesizer blew up. Wow. How much do you want? Oh, 2500 ought to do it. And we'd be sure to thank you at the Grammys. Wow. What an honor. Why don't I just throw in some guitars and a set of drums while I'm at it? Would you? Wow. <laughs> Julie, why don't you go out back a moment and calm down? Jesse, would you finish Mrs. Uh, Death. Mrs. Death's hair? Well, I just got it. 
That's the second time this morning, and it's been going on for two weeks now. It's not my fault. All you have to do is say no. Julie, this isn't working out. The other girls are angry, you're angry. Why don't you take a month or so off until you can work this out? Why just a month? Why not a year? Why not forever? Output, Mr. Arnold, that is the bottom line. And ever since he won that money, we've got nothing but trouble. Yes, sir, Mr. Arnold, the very next time. Thank you, sir, for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Attention all personnel, attention all personnel. If you have purchased tickets for the Good Cause charity drawing, please proceed to the display area at once. I repeat, if you have purchased tickets... Hey, Jake, I know you ticked that. I ain't ticked, I ain't I, anything. I, 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 know, I know, I know, but listen, I got these five tickets here. I don't want Why don't you send no, me no, a no, care no. package with It a... is not charity. I'm just sick of winning. You sure? You'd be doing me a big favor, believe me. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll take four, you hold on to one for good luck. <laughs> We're still buddies then? Hey, never been nothing else. Okay. All right, everybody, this is the big moment, so if you'll just step in a little closer here. Come on, just move it in here. That's nice, good. Come on, fill it in down here, good. All right, now, is everybody ready? This is the big moment. One ticket and one ticket only wins the whole thing. <laughs> Linda? Very nice. Looking. And the uh, winner of the new car is number four nine six five. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Linda. Oh. Four nine six five. He says four nine six five. I got four nine six two, four nine six three, four nine six four, four nine six six. Where's 4965? Who's got 4965? I don't believe it. I won. 4965 right here. The winner appears to be Frank Maris. Congratulations, Frank. Come on, guys, give me a break here. It's not my fault. I just have one ticket like everybody else. It's a curse or something. Hey, you're guests in our country. Okay. It didn't even have an eight in it. How am I going to explain this to Jesse? Okay, Maris, that's it. Hurry the type card, you're fired. What are you talking about? You can't fire me for this. You are a disruptive influence. And nothing gets done with you around here. Uh, I just said that. Oh. Well, I'm going to take this up with the head of the local. He's going to take it up with the head of the local. <laughs> He's my kid brother. I'll tell him to expect your call. Enjoy your car, Maris. Yeah, enjoy your car. I just said that. Say what? I just said that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not sure which. What are you doing home? Same thing. Fired? Yep. And more good news. It's a speeding ticket. Fifty dollars. 
You don't have a car to speed in. Well, I do now. I won the raffle at work. They booed me. Oh, Frank, that's awful. Whose living room is that on our lawn? Yours. Mine. Plus a 17-foot sporty cruiser hydrofoil, a year's supply of low-fat yogurt, another washer and dryer combination. That makes three. It means we'll always have dry socks. You know, I think this is the first time we've ever been alone in this room. You know, you might be right. It's always you and me and Ma. Yeah. Or you and me and the kids and Ma. Uh -huh. Or you and me and the TV and the kids. <laughs> and did I mention Ma? Uh-huh. What you're saying is we've never had a honeymoon. Yep. You think Ma could make it? Oh, I'm serious. You're right. You know, we've never had the money before. We do now. Well, that's an extravagance, mm -hmm. but wouldn't it be wonderful mm -hmm. to get away? Mm -hmm. Just the two of us? Mm -hmm. I think I could really get into this uh, honeymoon stuff. Frank? I know what you're thinking. What? The children are fine. How do you know that? Because I called them this afternoon when you were having your snorkeling lesson. Shall we dine? You're perfect. I know. Whatever it is, quiet, okay? I'll try. Can I bring my scooter in the house? Why not? Hello? Is it for me? Hello, cousin Marvin. No, they're not here. They're on a honeymoon. No, I can't give you their number. It's a honeymoon. You know why? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, okay, as soon as they get back. Goodbye. Isn't this nice? Oh, it's the best. Mm. What are you thinking about? Mm, I was wondering if Ma ironed Trisha's brownie uniform and if Cindy remembered to go to the orthodontist. Honey, this is our vacation, our honeymoon. This is no time to worry about the kids. But wouldn't it be nicer if they were here? Frankly, no. Oh, Frank, all of this is wonderful, but it's not us. Here we are in paradise, but where are our family and friends? You know, you're absolutely right. I want to go home. Okay, you got it. Don't fight me on this. No, not a chance. I'm really serious. Hey, Earth to Julie, Earth to Julie. We are going home first thing in the morning. <gasps> uh, give me a call in the morning, pal, about that noise. Well, I hope we don't scare anybody getting back early. Maybe we should have called from the airport. Yeah, maybe. Here you go, pal. You know what, take it away. No, seriously, it's great. We've got tons of money. Okay, problem? I can't find the key. You know what? I bet you David left the back door open as usual, so I'll just go around back. Yeah. I know I packed it with the seashell. Here's the seashell. And it's got to be down here.
Frank. Frank. Frank! Come on, Danny. Down, Danny. Danny! Danny! Can you get over there? Danny! for openers. Uncle Sam took 200000 right off the top. Well, that's a measly 200 grand. Where's the rest of it? Your stocks. Televender systems. You bought that at 88. It's now worth six. That's a loss of $335,000. You said it was a sure thing. There's nothing sure in the world of high tech. I guess not. And there was the remodeling. $85,000. Things you bought. $63,000. Well, we needed a few things. But that still leaves us 300 big ones. Not really. There were taxes on the things you wanted. The motorhome, the tanning parlor, the furniture, the yogurt, the washer dryers, the sporty cruiser. And you left out the Armadillo Ranch. Frank, you never told me. We'll talk about it later, sweetheart. Which really leaves you with $284,000. Well, <laughs> oh, that's a lot. That's a lot more than we've ever had. <laughs> Which, if you invest in certificates of deposit immediately, will accumulate enough interest by April 15th to allow you to pay the IRS the additional $300,000 that you owe them, which brings you down to zero. Except for the lawsuits. Lawsuits? Oh, the reporter who tripped over David's bike. Your dog bit the pool man. Aha. We do not have a pool man. Not anymore, you don't. Now, there's this person called... Death, who claims you dyed her ears maroon. Oh, I didn't. Honey, did you dye somebody? Oh, we'll talk about that later. Well, Frank, I guess you need a lawyer. Right. I'm also a lawyer. Right. Mm-hmm, I see. Do you have any references? Well, I can't just sell it to anyone. It's like one of my own children. I have to be sure it has a good home. Of course it's real mink. And it didn't sell for a song. Make it another 500 and you got it. Deal. Okay, Tamara. Goodbye. Hmm. Are you, are you sure we can't work something out about this now, really? Just, just, just one more week. Just let it come and visit. It's going to miss me. Wow, I never knew selling furniture could be so tiring. Yeah, I'm kind of glad it's over with. I don't think I could have handled another one of those looky loos. <laughs> me either. Mom, Dad. Mom and Dad, we gotta talk to you. Wait, something's gotta whoa, whoa, tell you. Whoa, 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 one at a time now. Yeah. Okay. David figured our cash flow on the computer. And after selling the new car, Grandma's fur coat, the furniture, and everything else we could, and paying the taxes, we have enough to live off of 
for one month. Twenty-nine days. Oh, that's uh, wonderful. That's great news, Dave. Thanks. And now that I've run the figures, I won't be needing that computer anymore. So we can sell that, too. And Mary Ellen's mother said she could take the dog. Now, wait a minute. Stop. Hold it right there. I don't want you to have to sell that computer. And Trish, we don't want you to get rid of your dog. We just want things back the way they were before. Yeah. Everything's going to be okay. Your mom and I are going to make sure of that. Your father's right. Now go to bed, kids. And thank you. Good night, Dad. Good night, Mom. Night. 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 Don't let the bed bugs bite. What are we doing? Well, I guess it's back to work. For both of us, if Vincent will rehire me. I sure wish we bought this place when we had the money. I do, too. You know, all we really need is a down payment. You think you can get your old job back? Well, why not? I'm, I'm skilled and, and I'm broke. It's perfect qualifications. I sure appreciate this, Donald. Staying late to wash my hair. I still wish you'd let me cut it. Julie? Hi, Jesse. What are you doing here? Well, I'm trying to get my old job back, but I guess Vincent found someone. Hey, maybe you could take my chair when I go out on maternity leave. What? A baby? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, me too. Uh, wait a minute. Why do you want your old job back? That is a long story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Excuse me. Is that true? Hey, can't you read English? Yeah. No. No. Hey, Frank, wait up. AJ, what are you doing here? I just got laid off, too. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's the bad news. Now the good news. What? Jesse's gonna have a baby. You're kidding. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. And listen, uh, right about now, I'm ready to swallow my pride. What do you mean? I'm gonna let you buy me that garage, and I'm gonna pay you back. No, no. Yes, no, no. yes, I insist. Now, AJ, you don't, the, don't understand. It, I'm... That's, I know you're a generous guy, and I appreciate it, but that's the deal. Now, I'm in a bit of a problem here. Well, that what problem? I'm broke. No. Broke? I still don't believe it. I thought once you got rich, you stayed rich. Yeah, me too. Vice grips. Vice grips. Too bad we can't make a living at this, buddy. No one's better at it. Right. Needle nose. What? Pliers. Needle nose pliers. You got them. Thank you. You know, I don't know if I want my kid to be a mechanical or not. Look where it's put us. Right. Phillips said. Coming up. Stand by for contact, AJ. Contact. Okay, don't do it now. What do I say? Okay, contact. You got it. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't need to. Ah! Ah! Oh, you got ah. that. That thing is humming pretty. Huh? Ah. I can't hardly believe all the mileage this baby will get. Right, and it gets great mileage, too. Huh? Wait a minute. The Econo race. The what? AJ, the Econo race at the plant. That's terrible. But that's all that's left. No, we still have a year's supply of yogurt. Hey, look, there's AJ and Frank. Hi. 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 Frank, did you hear about their baby? It's terrific, and that's not the end of the good news. We are going to get our garage. A garage? We are going to enter that econo race. Frank, another contest. Honey, this time it is not luck, it is skill. We'll win the old-fashioned way. We'll earn it. But it's going to be hard. We are the underdogs. That's right. Everybody else has been preparing for weeks. Well, you know what I think? What? What? Give me a W. Give me a I. Give me a N. We're going to win. <laughs> you ladies be like, uh, racing home? You're on. Ready? Oh, 
probably using David's system. System? Yeah, it's got something to do with a sequence of lights. Well, you know, maybe we all overlook something here. I was just thinking, there's nothing in the rules that says you can't have a two-way radio in the car. Hey, maybe we could use a CB. Do we have a CB? Four of them. I couldn't sell them either. Terrific. David, you could be on the other end with your computer. Right, but I have to reprogram it to find the best route. Well, who's going to be in the saddle? Well, if the idea is to hold back and save gas, old Leadfoot's not our man. <laughs> Frank's our man. Julie's our man. Mom? Why not? She's the one with the most experience. Yeah, Mom and David have been doing it all along. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, oh, come on! Yeah, sure. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, come on. Sure you can. Sure, it's worth giving it a good try. Julie, you'll do it, and you'll win. Win? With that old car of ours. And with a brand new engine. That's right. That little baby we've been working on out in the garage saves gas like nothing on the road. Of course, that little baby's never been on the road. Well, we got 12 hours to get it on the road. Come on, AJ, let's you go. Go, and let's get it again. Come on. says to the guy, we get kangaroos in here all the time. Mm. That's not the problem. What's not the problem? No problem. No, 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 no problem. We're almost done. Here's more coffee. And it wasn't a kangaroo. It was a polar bear. Hmm. Right. Still don't get it. The bartender says to the guy, we get polar bears. Ah, here's your problem. All right. There you go. There you go. That ought to do her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just as long as I have enough pizza to keep me going. <laughs> Ordering one double whammy special. Extra cheese, extra olives, extra right. onions, extra yeah. sauce. Uh -huh. And delivered tomorrow before race time. All right! Mr. Hugh Ardle, who's the plant manager and the grand marshal of this unusual event. Mr. Ardle, would you explain to our audience how the Econo race works? Uh, yes, Harriet. Uh, any licensed driver is eligible, and the object is to drive through normal city traffic uh, and arriving back at the finish line using one gallon of gas and one gallon only. Now, why is the race through normal city traffic? Well, that's to test the driver's skill, Harry. You see, they're under pressure to, uh, to uh, drive defensively and uh, obey all the traffic laws and to uh, choose the most economical route. Oh, so it's not a fixed course? No, no. Uh, as long as they pass each of the four checkpoints, if they drive too fast, they run out of gas. If they drive too slow, then uh, one of the competition may beat them back to the finish line. Hmm. The grand prize, you know, is $25,000. I have the check right here. Have you? Uh, Gary, let's get a look at this check. -in. It's upside down. Hey, Maris. Yeah, what is it, Wilson? You actually gonna run in this race against me? No. My wife is. Your wife? His wife. <laughs> <laughs> and my engine. You lost all your money, Maris. And now, you're gonna lose this race. That's because you're a born loser. Good luck, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Get that? His wife? I just said that. Now you listen to me. Maris and Foley, they might have some. I want you two to follow her and make sure that she loses. No problem, boss. All right. Hey, Honey, I'm so proud of you. Oh, I haven't done it yet, Ma. I hope I can. Oh, if you can, honey. You're my kid. It's in the genes. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. Yeah. Mr. Ardle now about to start the race. Drivers, start your engines! 
crowd eagerly anticipating this. It's been called by some the tortoise and the hare race without the hare. With that new engine? Hey, there's luck and then there's luck. Come on. Excuse me, miss. It looks like car 88 had a little trouble before it started. You think it was out of the race before it began? Uh, no way! Automatic chokes waste a lot of gas, so we started it the old-fashioned way. Hey! Okay, Joe, off to the races! Stay too far behind the boss. Let's hang in there. David, we're at Pine and Waddle. It's Big Bad Wolf in the lead at the first turn by a length line. Clock. Oh, by a clock. Thanks, Grandma. You stick with the Bad Wolf. Mom, can you hear me? I'd better. Okay, we're fine so far. Slow to 19 miles per hour. Right, Chief. Hit the next light, Mom. You'll be in an 8 block sequence. So slow to 16. David, he was ahead of me, and now he's turned off at Pine. I know. Grandma's on his tail. When you hit the first checkpoint, cut your speed in half. I'm at the first checkpoint now, David. Here you go. Thank you. Can I go now? Yeah, go ahead. Big Bad Wolf ran that red light! Why do you think we're calling bad? He's a wily little weasel. Now we're two blocks well, off the plane. He can take so can we. He can't be that far ahead. You bet, honey. Go get him, Joe. Hi. Stop that pilot, John. I'm walking here. Come on. Come on. Get your body out of the crosswalk. Can't you see that I'm in a race? Huh? Don't you huh? shake your stick at me. Uh huh. Hey, there he is! Okay, David, we made a right turn at Maple. Big Bad Wolf is about two furlongs ahead of us, just behind Lucky Garage. Lucky Garage? Lucky Garage? Mom! Mom! Lucky Garage? Yes, David. You're coming up on the second checkpoint. Big Bad Wolf is right on your tail, but it's nothing to worry about. He used a lot of gas catching up to you. That's right, honey. We're right behind you both. You're doing swell. Bad Wolf will probably go on the expressway. If he does, it's a sign of panic.
David, turning right on Main Street. Frank, are you there? Don't worry, honey. Those two guys are still on my tail. <laughs> I've been waiting to do this to these goons for a long time. Radiator, sloppy cornering, burning oil. Nothing is too great a challenge for us. Remember, others just fix your car, but we make it better. So come on down to the garage that knows you can tune a car, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> yeah. 
How was uh, it that is time? That something? Is she beautiful? Huh, uh, isn't she? Uh, uh, old Piddly says you was a three horse parlay. <laughs> Joe, do you think I was really all right? A triple crown jewel, honey. Anyway, after we got our own garage, you know, Kevin wanted to get back in good with me again. I mean, he can't even get his license till next year. So I had told him it wasn't cool to be so tough. Daddy, Daddy! Grandma finally got it! Oh, good. Cindy, get off the phone. <laughs> okay, everybody. I would like to propose a toast. All right. Hi. Here's to... Marison Foley. Others just fix your car. We make it better. Ring job. Okay, how about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning? 7.30. Make that 7.30. You got it. Ah. Well, here's the toast to our first job. I'll get this call. <clears throat> Foley and Maris, others just fix your car. Hold the wire. David, it's for you. Thanks. Hello? Yes, it is. Great! Why don't you come down any day after school? Thanks. Who was that? Oh, some software company wants to buy my traffic game. Hey, you know, this could make us rich. Oh! Yeah. It's post time. We're off to the races. Yeah. And we're going to get our hair done. Mommy, Mommy! Yeah, would you mail these for me? Oh, sure, Trish. Thanks. Bye, ladies. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. Well, think we can handle a ring job? Well, we can sure give it a try. You can look it up. I bet it's under R. Could be under J. Probably R. Yeah. Jesse, look at this. Oh, Jesse, look what she's doing. Oh. about no job. Come on, AJ. Uh, our own garage. No more time clocks. No more assembly line. And no, no more, more Wilson. Wilson. Sweetheart, they're no good for you. Okay, I'll have coffee and a cigarette. Don't get smart. Morning, Grandma. Hi, David. David, do you have a calculator? And help me out, okay? How many calories in oatmeal? It says here one cup is 133. Why? Make it a cup and a half. Oh, okay. 199 and a half. Two cups of milk, 318, six tablespoons of brown sugar, totaling 829 and a half calories in one tiny bowl of oatmeal. Boy, am I full. What have your kids got against oatmeal? I ate it, your mother ate it. Well, that's it. It's old fashioned. Well, I'm old fashioned, don't you like me? Oh, Grandma, you're not old fashioned, you're just old. Sit down. Ma, you smoke 
talking again. Uh, Trish, you oh. got the wrong shoes on. Aren't your kids ready for school? We have to wait for oatmeal. We don't have time. Just toast some hot toasties. Oh, no, we can't. The toaster's broken. We'll take them raw. All right. Come on. Uh, Let's go. Enjoy your oatmeal, Grandma. What? Oh. I can't be late. Kevin paces my homeroom at exactly 8.06. Give me a break. Mom, if you don't slow down, you're going to catch a red light. Okay, kids, positions. Wait a minute, Mom. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't have a minute. Get out, nerd. No. Ready? Wait. Which one I count to five? One. Two. Three, four, five! I hate pushing this car. Quiet. I'm figuring this out. What's the mileage on the odometer? Zero, zero. Oh, it turned a hundred thousand and we missed it. Oh, we've seen it before. Got it. Now drive it 15 miles per hour. Forget that. Drive it 50. 50, that'll stop us at the next two lanes. Now 30 would do it. The speed limit's 25. We don't have time for a ticket. Hang a real, Mom. David, you forgot about the crossing guard. Okay, okay, I'll work it out. Not here. Kevin goes from down there. Genius. I haven't factored in the crossing guards yet. I have it all worked out by the night. Run for it. Oh, thanks. Again, Mr. Johnson. Hey, I'm control. Eleven and a quarter. Eleven and a quarter, you got it. Eleven and one sixteenth. Eleven and one sixteenth. Complete. Eleven and eight. Eleven and eight. Hey, boss. Yeah, wake up, boss. Boss. What is it? What is it? They're doing it again. Who? Oh, oh, Who? What? Maris and Foley are doing it again. I am going to get those guys. Bullseye. Uh, Frankenstein. Good. Zorro. Oh, come on. Another big layoff coming up. Yeah, I heard. If it happens, I'm going to race funny cars. Jesse hates the idea, but I can make a lot of money. Why don't you get in that Econo race? Can't get hurt there. What's an Econo car race? We well, drive real slow to save gas, right through traffic, and the winner takes home $25,000. I can drive slow to take home twenty-five grand, but my car has far too much pride. <laughs> What's so funny? You guys job to hanging by a thread. You got no appreciation for style, Wilson. I hate style. Run all day, I bet my money on about two day. Some bit on the day. Perfect. Don't you ever die. <laughs> Who can that be? None of your business. There's no one there anyway. Frank? Frank? 
Did you hear anything I said? Oh, yeah, sweetheart. How much did you win? Well, I'm surprised at you. That's not the point. I know. That's not the point. No. The point is... She hates eights. She hates eights. So she couldn't have won, could she? Mm-mm. Nope, she couldn't. So I won it all by myself. That's nice, honey. She could have played. But she didn't. She hates eights. I know. I feel terrible. I know. You said a million dollars. I know. It's not just because we might be rich and my mom's gonna be on TV tonight. Kevin really likes me. He told me so. Well, not exactly. He punched me on the stairs. Who's gonna feed a pony? I'll feed the pony. But where are you gonna put it? In the garage. My scooter's going there. You're not old enough to drive. I can drive it in the backyard. No way, the backyard's for the gazebo. What do you feed a gazebo? We're home. Feed me. Hurry up, kids. The show's on in two minutes. Isn't this awesome? Just like the Kentucky Derby. All the money. Boom, kiddo. You know it's uh, odds are five to one. She won't win. Bite your tongue, Joe. Lady Luck smiles on this family. Remember, I was once... Queen for a day. Oh. <laughs> hey, where's the caramel corn? Ah. Uh. Okay. We forgot, David. These will have to do. Come on in. Sandy, our fortune hunter's here. Don't slouch. She really hates that. Oh, thanks. Kevin, how nice of you to come. Let me introduce you to my siblings. This is David Lee and my sister Patricia. And my grandmother, Grandma, and her boyfriend. He's not a boy, he's just short. He's a jockey. Five will get you ten. <laughs> All right. You want a potato chip? Oh, Everybody, 30 seconds and counting. Yeah. I mean, it's drive carefully now. It with Frank, like I am with Julie. AJ, you don't want to watch that show. Yes, I do want to watch that show. I'm happy for Frank. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. But what about you? You're a nice guy. What I meant was, if it couldn't happen to me, I'm glad it happened to Frank. But it could have happened to you if it weren't for my dumb thing about eights. You gotta keep bringing that up, don't you? What in the world is wrong with eights? Everyone else loves them. It's sevens you gotta watch out for. Look. Hey, folks. You want me to turn that lottery on? Yes. No. no. Yeah, go ahead. I want to see just how mad I am. And I want to see how she fixed her hair. Go back. Hammer two. Two challenge. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, our finalists, and let's meet them right now. First, we have Norm Bellows, a biology teacher, and Kathy Wallace, a nurse. Next, Peggy Dalton, food tester, and Corporal Bob Sanders, sanitary engineer. Julie Maris, a beautician, and James Johnson, unemployed. Well, you've met our finalists. Which one of them is going to take home this one million dollars? Oh, 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 let's find out right now. And here to help us pick our winner is that superstar of soaps, 
the villainous you love to hate. Let's hear it for Erica Shepherd. <laughs> Oh, hello, Erica. Don, it is a thrill to be here. I'm just so excited. <laughs> well, I think that goes for all of us, Erica. Hey, okay, you're right, well, I'm wrong. We're ready. Would you step over to our wheel of wealth? Sure, Don. <laughs> okay, let's find out who our millionaire is going to be. Erica, spin the wheel! Good luck. Are you nuts? must be Lucille's little girl. And you must be Lucille's little man. I mean, jockey. <laughs> you got it. How you doing, baby? <laughs> We've heard a lot about you. We are off to the morning workouts, the afternoon races, and the night sulking. <laughs> it's been a real exacta. Come on, Joe. Yeah. See you after dinner. <laughs> Have a good time and good luck. You boys gonna get in on the raffle? Oh, what's Wilson got you hustling now, Lenny. That little beauty right over there? You're not gonna regret it. Hey, bucket ticker, boys! Hey, Foley, fork it over. Uh, I already got me a real car. Maybe this will be okay for Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Cough it up, Maris. Uh, no, thank you. Nobody ever wins anything in my family except my mother-in-law, and that was 30 years ago. You can count me out. You like your overtime? You can count me in. All I got's five bucks. Saying you get five tickets. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. Hey, Julie. You drive. I gotta dry my hair. Why don't you let me cut it for you? You'd look terrific with short hair. AJ would kill me. I think the fellas were late this morning. <laughs> Why should we be any different? Hey, but we are gonna take the time to stop and get lottery tickets, right? You know it. Okay. Give me a W. Give me an I. Give me a great big N. What do we do? Win! And what are you gonna do with your half of the million dollars, Mrs. Maris? Oh, pay the bills, Cindy's braces, buy the garage, fix the dryer. Personally, I'd like to get to know my local furrier real well. And of course, you just can't wear furs without diamonds. Jesse. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. A baby. Now that's really expensive. Morning, Sid. Morning. Must be Thursday. Yep. Lottery time. <laughs> What's it for this week? A baby. <laughs> and our own business. Good luck, ladies. Let's check last week's board. Oh, my gosh. Jesse, come here. Look, 858368. Eight. Check me. See if I'm right. Okay, there's an 8, and there's a 5, and there's another 8, and a 3, and a 6, and an 8. Wait, what? What? Dad, Dad, what? look what? at this. Come here. Look. That's it, all right. Girls, you finally hit it. 858-368. Plate is a nose in your face. Purchased by Julie Maris, 21, Eastern Rome. And Jesse Foley, 49 Van Alden Ave, right? Yeah, right. No wrong. There's no Foley on this ticket. 
Jesse, you didn't want to play last week. I always want to play. No, I remember now. You said there were too many eights. Eights were unlucky for you. You've known me long enough to know I never mean what I say. Well, just put her name on the ticket. Sorry, Julie, I can't do that. This ticket is the sole property of Julie Maris. Says so right here. But I wouldn't get too excited. You're not a winner yet. This only gives you a shot at the million dollars. You have to go on television and be one of six finalists. Me? Go on television? Oh, wow, that's fantastic. But it's nothing, because uh, I haven't won anything yet. Right, Jesse? Jesse? If you'll excuse me, I still have to make a living. Oh, Jesse. Where is she? I need those highlights by one. This is a major luncheon. I'm sure Julie will be here any minute. I have another date. Do you want me to give it up? Don't be ridiculous. I just thought we were friends. How can you say that? We're best friends. A person who doesn't share a lottery ticket when she's got a chance to win is no way a friend of mine. Jesse, I'll, I'll give you half the money. You'll give me? I don't want half your money. I want my half of our money. What's been keeping you two? I had to tease Mrs. D'Amato myself. And Mrs. Doyle wants a dye job. She didn't when she came in, but her hair turned gray waiting for you. Sorry, Mr. Vincent. I think my ship came in. And what's your excuse? Mine sank. Julie, don't forget. Tonight you have Mrs. Parnowski's roots. Hello. Ouch, what are you doing? Sorry. I'm sorry. What's the matter, honey? Uh I get to thinking about what happened this morning and I started to get really mad. You mean Wilson at the time clock? No, I'm talking about the blackmail. They made me buy five tickets with five dollars that I can't afford. I only bought one. Yeah, well, they didn't threaten to cut off your overtime. They threatened you? You bet they did. Listen, they threaten you, they threaten me. Well, don't worry about it. I'm just not going to let myself think about it. Yeah, but the trouble is you got me thinking about it now and I'm getting steamed. I'm getting sick and tired about being pushed around by those two clowns. Where are you going? I'm going to punch out some lights. No one blackmails my buddy. Go oh, get it! Oh, out! Out! All right. I have had it. Oh, me too. I'm going to clean some clocks. Hey, me too. There they are. Uh, Maris? Now, all of you listen to this. Maris, I want to congratulate you in front of everybody for buying five tickets on that drawing. That was a fine thing you did. Fine example for all the workers. Thank you, Mr. Arnold. You have a generous heart, Maris. Keep up the good work. See you. Boy, we showed them, huh? Damn, it's your turn to cook dinner. I did it last night. Uh-uh, that was Wednesday night, remember? Yeah, I did it Wednesday, too. Yes, I'll cook. I always do it anyway. There, I cooked dinner, now you have to set the table. I have work to do. Hello? Who weighs the most? What? In the family, who's the heaviest? Yeah. Cindy. I heard that nerd knows. It's Dad, Trish. Right. What's his name again? Frank. Oh, yeah. Hey, move the stuff off the table. Why? I need to make a right turn in Pulaski Avenue. No way. What are you doing? Solving the timing of the traffic pattern on the way to school. Why? So we never have to push that stupid car. If we never stop, we'll never stall. 
Well, why do you keep saying Kevin likes me? I mean, I bumped into him between third and fourth period today. He didn't even say a word to me. That does not prove he likes me. No one else talks to me either. Yeah, he is so cute. Ack, young love. If I check no, we don't want any magazines, do we still have the chance of a lifetime? Look, Trish, when you get older, you'll learn that the two biggest lies in the world are I'll be in bed by 9 o'clock and no purchase necessary. And briar patch moving very handily uh, next to a uh, golf ball. Uh, and here comes the favorite needles moving up on the, the outside. Um, and here comes Fleetfoot. Ah! Fleetfoot making his move. Oh, uh, and as the pack goes into the far turn, they are holding, and Fleetfoot is challenging. Uh, boy, ain't this better than a box at the fur club? I used to ride for the summer. Oh, come on, Fleetfoot. Come on, Fleetfoot. It's Fleetfoot moving up, and uh, Briar Patch staying close. Uh, needles falling behind by a half a length. Oh, Joe, I'm going to win this time. I'm going to win. Let and go. it's Fleetfoot taking the lead by a half a length. Um, oh, Joe, my losing streak is over. This is it. I can feel it. Come on, Fleetfoot. They're come moving on, Fleetfoot. into the stretch, uh, and it's Fleetfoot all the way with the Briar Patch staying close and nodding off his third. Uh, and they're coming down the word. Here comes Briar Patch. Oh. I lost by a nose. I warned you about Fleetfoot. Oh, well, what makes you so smart? I rode his mother. Steady, big fella. Joe. Mm hmm? I hope you don't think I'm easy because of that kiss. Oh, no way! It's just that the races sort of get my blood going, you know? I respect you, Lucille. And I really did come up here for the view. So did I. But that little old kiss didn't hurt anything. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I think we have a lot in common, don't you? Oh, I sure do. Knowing you helps keep my hand in. With the races, you mean? Ah, with the fillies. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh. Lito, look at the time, Joe. We've got to get home. Judy will be waiting up for me. Yes, ma'am. Don't spare the horses. I never did. Uh-huh. Uh, no, no, she got acquitted on the murder charge when they found out she had amnesia. Yes, of course I'm sure. It was right before the commercial. It's almost 10 o'clock. Here she comes. How could she remember the axe was in her hand? I mean, she couldn't even remember her own name. Yeah, they took him to the hospital, but he was DOA. DOA, degree of angle. Remember we had it in math last week? Bye. Hi, Mom. Did you kids do your homework? Uh, we had to watch the, um, news for current events. Oh? Tell me, what were the current events? War and pestilence. The war wasn't in a beauty shop by any chance, was it? <laughs> Never mind. Let's go to bed. Oh. Frank, say you had a friend. And that friend could have entered a contest with you, but didn't. Uh-huh. And then you won that contest. Uh -huh. Frank.
Department of Human Resources, the unemployment rate is approaching 10%, with more layoffs expected at the major auto plants. Wake up. Officials of the two companies most affected said inventories were up and retail sales were down. They also cited increased costs for basic raw materials as a factor. When asked, they denied that competition from Japanese automakers was a major factor. Continuous thunderstorms dumped almost 10 inches of rain on southeastern Texas and western Louisiana yesterday, forcing evacuation of thousands of people. The National Guard was called in to help evacuate. Everybody up! Everybody up! Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Yeah. Your program started. Time for the workout. On the brighter side of the news, the weather for our town. Too tight. So we just loosen it. Barren warm says the bureau with some light. Good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. The radio said there's going to be layoffs. Yeah, I heard. The dryer busted again. My socks are wet. It wouldn't surprise me. Frank, about dinner tonight. I left a note on the board. Would you put the casserole in the microwave at medium for three minutes at six? Oh, you have to work late again? Honey, if I don't do the night jobs, then Cindy will never get her braces. Right. If Cindy doesn't get her braces, then Kevin will never call her for a date. Right. And if Kevin doesn't call her, you know right. we'll never hear the end of it. Well, I can't fix food for him tonight, because I'm working overtime myself. I hate to have the kids eat alone again. Well, Ma can cook for him. This will be the third time this month she'll have to miss the Friday night races. Oh. Oh. Ma. Are you smoking again? Must be the toast. Ma, would you please help me get the kids going? Oh, oh, the kids, the kids. I know, I know, Ma. Queen for a day. The kids! Oh, oh, the kids. Frank, let's go. Yeah. You know, Julie, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. That engine is the engine of the future. That engine is going to make us very rich someday. Well, this engine's going to make us very late today. Frank, you've got to fix it. I'll fix it next week. But you said that last week. Clutch, honey. <laughs> I think we'll ever get out from under. Sure. Henry Ford did. He didn't work on the assembly line, Frank. He invented it. Well, it's the same thing. Don't worry. AJ and I are going to get our own garage, and we're going to do just fine. I could handle that. Turn in here. I'm heading the wrong way. I know. Just hang a Yui. One Yui coming up. Well, this is it, AJ. 
No different than all the rest. Oh, are you kidding? This is perfect. Come here, take a look at this. Oh, Frank, we're gonna be late again. No, we're not. Just picture this, okay? Maris and Foley. We don't just fix cars. We make them better. Well, I like it. I do, too. Give me a pencil. A pencil? What for? Well, I want to get the phone number. Oh, you want the phone number. Here's the phone number. Now, let's get going. Sorry, but I don't have a pencil. Well, we got the phone number. We're late again, man. Let's go, Tom. Late again, huh, Maris? Well, take a hike, Wilson. Attitude, boys. Attitude. You guys aren't careful. I'm going to put you back in shipping. Oh, yeah? Wilson, the last time he took us off the line, it cost the company 100 rejects. That's right. Wasn't it the big boss himself who insisted you put us back on crankshaft? Oh, push me, loudmouth. This is my shift. I want things done my way. No strain, no pain. 